Port forwarding ports blocked by internet provider, firewall issues. If you've had any of these problems trying to IRL live stream from your phone to your computer at home, you've come to the right place. I've got a solution that bypasses all that port forwarding firewall stuff. The new way I'm about to share with you kind of destroys all my other videos on IRL. They're still worth watching though. The new way has this combination of apps and services, IRL Pro, OBS, Ballotbox Cloud, No Alps, and Streamerbot. So how does this work? Let's go back to the example from my other video featuring our friend okay, Jeff. Yeah. He opens IRL Pro on his Android phone where he has a new connection for Ballotbox Cloud. In IRL Pro, Jeff taps the big play button to start streaming from his phone to Ballotbox Cloud, then onto OBS on his home PC. No Alps handles automatic scene switching when there's a drop in his bitrate or connection, and for chat commands like going into privacy mode. Here's a streamer bot as a mobile stream deck for anything No Alps can't do, like running custom alerts and redemptions. When he's done, he ends the stream on his phone, PC, and connection to Twitch. Easy as. If you see my other videos on this kind of setup, we'll have to rework and rethink some of what we already know. I've also tried to skip stuff we've already talked about. There should be links in the description to those videos for your reference. Please watch them after this one. Okay, step one, download the apps. We've covered this in my other video about OBS and Streamerbot. It's basically the same except WebSockets is now included in OBS 29 and up. And you probably won't need Node.js for what we're doing, so you can skip it unless prompted to do so. The newest addition to our setup is No Alps, so download this too. Step two, OBS scenes and sources. Once you've installed a portable version of OBS, update the UI to your liking, then connect it with Streamerbot and both of them to Twitch. Make sure you have the following scenes in OBS. This will be important. Starting soon, live, low, refresh, privacy, BRB, and ending soon. I've duplicated these scenes with the same background image and text, and I'll be using code and Streamerbot to update the text for us when we change scenes. The same could be done with the background image, but I'll leave that to you. The live and low scenes have this media source. If you're wondering, the live scene is for when your connection is fine. No Alps will switch to the low scene when your video quality or bitrate is low, so they're basically the same. Most IRL streamers will have a message on the low scene to let their viewers know why the video quality has dropped. It's more of a courtesy. Let's create a new media source from scratch. Select the live scene in OBS and right click this gray area in the sources dock. From the right click menu, add a new media source and give it a name like MS Phone. For the media source properties, do this. Local file unchecked, restart playback checked. Network buffering to one MB, input blank for now, reconnect to 2.5, use hardware decoding unchecked, show nothing and close file both checked. Click OK and we're done in OBS for now. Step three, Ballotbox Cloud. You sign in with Ballotbox Cloud by making a recurring donation on GitHub. Once you're logged in with them, go to this page to become a sponsor. I chose the $10 a month option, which comes with one SRT Relay server account for phone streaming. Add or update your billing details, choose a payment method, and then click on the sponsor button. The following page will confirm your sponsorship with details on how to proceed. Read through it carefully. Go to the Ballotbox Cloud website, log in with your GitHub authorized Ballotbox and complete your registration with an email and password. Since we'll be using our phone with the service, we can navigate to the SRTLA Relays page, link along the top menu. Add a new Relay server account and read through everything carefully, especially the warning at the top about not sharing your ingest and watch keys or stream ID. Choose the server closest to you. I'm based in New Zealand, so I'm going with AU for Australia. If you scroll down the page, you'll have everything you need to set up your mobile app. For us, there'll be IRL Pro and the media source from step two. Step four, setting up IRL Pro and OBS. Let's start with IRL Pro. Open the app and go into the settings to add a new connection. Name it something like Ballotbox. URL will depend on your server, but it should be something like this. Stream ID to yours. Remember, don't share this with anyone. Tap to save. Let's jump back over to OBS, open the properties for the media source from earlier, then copy the OBS source URL from the SRT watch setting summaries on the Ballotbox Cloud website. Paste that into the input field of our media source. Quick side note, I really like how this input text example in the OBS media source settings section isn't just a screen grab, but can be copied as well. Click OK. 
back to IRL Pro and tap on the big play button to start streaming from your phone. Give it a few seconds to show up in OBS. My phone is currently connected to the home Wi-Fi, but if I switch over to mobile data by turning off the Wi-Fi on my phone, I'll still be able to stream with the same ballot box connection. With my older videos, you'd have to switch between a local and remote connection in IRL Pro, depending on if you're using the home Wi-Fi or literally anywhere else. Those two connections from before, local and remote, are no longer needed. Excuse me, are you streaming? No more clicky clip, that's it. Where are you streaming, Twitch? Yeah, I am. Uh, me too. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. That is exactly right. No more picky glyph. Hey, Shawnee. Get to the shopper. 